Before we get started on this week's podcast, I just wanted to have a heartfelt rest in peace to John Madden. You are a legend. God bless you. God bless your family. And thank you so much for the inspiration, teaching us how to play football, teaching us assignments and coverages and stuff like that. And also, of course, the Madden video game. And I'm sure that Chris echoes the same sentiment. Rest in peace to the legend, John Madden. Welcome to week 17, the post-Christmas installment of Chopping Birds Weekly NFL Podcast. I'm one of your co-hosts, Port Chop, with... Big Bird. He's here today. Yay. Santa, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Yeah, I told you forgot about Like, you text me <laughs> last Wednesday. like, you come? I was like, oh, shit, it's fucking Wednesday. Yeah, no, that's the same. Like, I was like... Cause I was fully convinced it was Tuesday. Because Jocelyn was like, hey, is Chris coming over tonight? I'm like, coming over tonight. Why? And she's like, it's Wednesday. I'm like... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, let me text him real quick. Because <laughs> yeah. I completely forgot. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have had an episode last week. So, thankfully, my wife informed me that, yep, it is indeed Wednesday. Because last week, it was just all melted together. Because Wednesday, my dude. Christmas and everything like that. It just kind of just all melded. Yeah, I totally forgot. And I was, like, I was like, whatever. So, we got, I, I got an installment put in real quick. But, and yeah. then Chris is back this week, so yeah, and shit's falling down. Awesome. So Anywho, it's that time of the year. So, Chris, what was the most interesting thing you got for Christmas this year? A blue chap. I mean, I can't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was like, happy. I'm happy for you. <laughs> you probably should. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> I got waveless rancheros two mornings in a row, and it was wonderful. Woo! Is that why you're telling my wife to make them for the the party we're having? Well, I love them, and then they I hadn't had them in a while, and then we had them I'm like. Ugh. I know, right? So fuck. I mean, and Granny makes the best ones. Oh, there you go. Granny Lucero. And then, what else did we... I get, what else did I get for Christmas? Did you get red chili or green chili on it? I don't know. She made it. I okay. ate it. Yeah. She made it. I ate it. That's all you need to know. I mean, it, 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 she made it. It smelled good. I tasted it. It tasted good. And, you know, that was it. Yeah. What was that? I never asked a question. Uh, what else? What did, I what did I get for Christmas? Well, from Bailey's mother, I got alcohol because she thinks I need it. And... <laughs> Spoiler, that's going to be a gift for Lane on, at some point, because I won't use it. There you go, give it to Lane. And then, also, I, get, I got a cool wallet, and I got some PS5 games. There you go, fantastic. I got the new Miles Morales game. How is it so far? Well, I played it and beat it within two days, so. <laughs> is that good? It's like, well, shit, now what? Uh, the most interesting thing I got, I bought for myself. I got myself a bidet, so. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, so everybody can kiss my clean ass this year. I don't know how I've never used a bidet. But it's they, interesting. It seems you weird. can use it while you're here and see if you like it. Squeeze his ass, son. You'll oh, like it. so good. <laughs> I don't, need, I don't need stuff. Cool. That and then uh, we got a, uh, a light for the toilet so that I can see. So I don't have to turn the light on to pee in the middle of the night. I can just just follow the light. <laughs> just follow, just oh, follow the light. That's funny. Anywhere else, you're getting piss everywhere. So <laughs> my friend Jess, God bless her, she was... She thought about me, so she got me at the toilet. <laughs> it's, like, it's only five bucks at five below, so you should go get one. So you don't have to turn the light on when you take a piss at like 3 a.m. Those 3 a.m. pisses, man, they'll get you. I can't say I really have 3 a.m. pisses. That would be Bailey. <laughs> what? Okay. Well, get it for her. You know, while she's standing up and you know, draining her dick, maybe she can... <laughs> I'm kidding. Bailey doesn't... Oh, that takes you getting a blowjob on a whole new level, if that's what we're talking... Anywho, we're going to change the subject. So, Chris... Yeah, this, this podcast is going south very quickly. Yeah, it is. Or north, depending on how you look at it. It could be better, it could be worse. But, um, Chris, what are the standing updates that's a good question. from last week? I don't know, I'm coming for your wife. Huh? I said, I'm coming for your wife in the other, in the other league. Oh, yeah? Other Everybody league. is. I'm... I'm two we're, games we're, behind her. Tanner's I'm, game I'm behind her. I'm two games behind her. Yeah, I think I mean, we're, you and I are tied. Yeah, I'm like, man, I think we're, we're have like a four a four way tie. I know. Last week fucked me, man. I swear to God, I really thought I picked <laughs> fucking the Bills over New England, and I guess I didn't. It, and, and the Bills would have. If, if I would have picked the Bills, like I thought I did. I don't want to be a game back of Jocelyn. I'm like, fuck. I know it. It drives me crazy because I was on the fence about picking the Bengals. And I was like, I think, oh, I think I'm going to pick the Bengals. You, with, without Lamar starting? You and, have... and of course, it was after the fact. I was like, uh, okay, if Lamar's not starting, Huntley will start. Huntley's not starting. Mm, damn it. Okay. Well, and it was too late. I saw a, few, a lot of people picked New Orleans, too. I know. With I wasn't some, one of them. With, some weird per- <laughs> with like some rookie starting. Yeah, uh, like Ian Book but, from yeah. uh, Notre Dame. Like, I wasn't one of them. I was like, I, ain't complaining. I was like shit, they're the, uh, the New Orleans COVIDs. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and. 
and pick the the Dolphins because yeah. they're they're the first team ever to lose seven games in a row and win seven yeah, games they, in they, a row. They're the first team ever, yeah, first ever to have a seven game win streak and a seven game lose streak, a seven game win streak and a seven game losing streak in the same season. Good for them. Yeah, good for good for the Dolphins. That's, but we, anyway, that's, that's, who the, that's who we play next week is the Dolphins. <laughs> so but, what's, but, what's your pick? Let's see. We have chops picks is at. Let's see, he's in first place, and Michael's one game back. Whoop, whoop. I am two games back. Jocelyn, well, she's fucked. She gave up. Jocelyn just took an early she vacation. Is te- she's technically 21 games back. You know, like, forces daddy. She's on vacation. She, she's, yeah, <laughs> she, she's done. She's checked out for this one. Yeah. You dropped a lot, your, Jocelyn. You dropped your book. Anyway. I have a theory why she stopped. She didn't want us to look at her picks and, yeah. and think she was going to do the same picks for both Well, she weeks. was winning at one point, and then uh, she just quit picking, so... You know, she's just quick. Or maybe she's just gonna catch up. Like, oh my god, look who it is! It's like the Undertaker, like when they're already in the casket and they just pops out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, that sucks. That's weird. Yeah. So uh, Chris brought up a very important point, and that is uh, no fantasy player pickup because it's the playoffs. If yeah. you got him, you got him, and you're probably gonna go with the team that got you to the playoffs versus picking somebody up. So although if you don't have, if you don't, if you had wins, sorry. Yikes. Sorry about you. Yeah, Wentz. He ain't going to be playing this week. Nope. No, he is not. The COVID, co- the COVID coats. Mm, the Indianapolis Coves. I don't know how to. My foot still feels weird. Yeah. Oof. You're hooked on feeling? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, all right. So, after last week, Chris, um, who was. All right. Who is a playoff team that needs to panic? Don't panic! Don't panic! <laughs> Going into the playoffs, going into the playoffs, or well, if they're on the you know yeah, outskirts, I'll look at like the top ten seeds at the moment, which is pretty much anybody trying to get in. Yeah, let's see here. Mm. Uh, I would say, I said New England. Yeah, and then mm. they lost two in a row. They currently hold the sixth seed, but they're only a game ahead of Miami, Baltimore, the Chargers, and Vegas. I know, and it. it if they got their shit together, it was like that they were going to run away with it again, you know. And then the Bills beat them, and it's like, well, shit. They went from the first, the number one seed to the sixth seed real quick. I heard a joke, and it said, "I bet Mac Jones, which is he only threw three times against the Bills." <laughs> terrible. Like he did. Yes, that's, that's terrible. That's yeah. funny. It's like, oh yeah, you win. You throw three times, you win. You throw fifty, whatever he did, that you lose. That you lose. You lose. You lose. Good day, sir. I would, I would, I would say New England. They get their shit figured out real quick, as they are only one seat away from being eliminated. Yeah, um, I'm gonna say the Cardinals. Let's see. Let's see. I think they're okay. They got no what? They got no hop. <laughs> well, they are. They have, they have already clinched the playoff spot. They have, but if they're if they they're going nowhere fast, if they don't have hop, they don't have what? <laughs> well, Hopkins, I think she'll be back for playoffs. So they just got yeah. They just got to survive. Got no food. We got no jobs. Our pets' heads are falling off. They're like, where's the Eagles fucking make it? As a as a seventh seed. Somebody has a projection right now that we're expected to play the Eagles. Well, as of now, you are. Which is, it's mind-boggling to me, because nobody else in that division should make the playoffs, but that's just me. Well, someone's, well. I don't know, it's like, you know, I'd re- I would prefer like a Minnesota team, or, you know, a, a San Francisco team, or, you know, something like that, you know. But well, Minnesota's a game back at Philly, so we'll see. I mean, it could happen, we got two weeks left, so we'll see what happens there. But, um, if we do, then, I mean... They say it's hard to beat three teams in one season. You know, the same the same mm-hmm. team three times in one season. Historically, that is true. It's doable. We've done it before to the Eagles. We've beat them three times this, uh, in a season. So. Uh, the Eagles are just the Eagles. The right, Eagles right. are the Eagles. The Browns are the Browns. Um, so, yeah. So, what team doesn't need to panic going into the playoffs? Oh, my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay f***ing calm. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Everybody just f***ing calm down. Um... Uh, <laughs> the Packers, probably the best team in football. Right? Yeah, they're 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 doing pretty good. Them and then I don't know anybody in the AFC safe besides maybe KC at this point. We just gotta get to the playoffs. There will be Derek's gonna play more than likely week eighteen just to get some rust off, and then he'll play the first week of the playoffs. Well, I, I want I want that for you. <laughs> I, I do too. I want that for you. I want him to um, people are saying like we need to start Tyrone. We need to start Tyrone. I'm like, don't let that beautiful bitch 
play again until the playoffs, please. I don't want to see him on the field until the playoffs. Thank you. We're doing just fine without him. But as far as, far as a team that's in a wild card that doesn't need a panic, I would have said Indy. But they decided to, you know, all fuck, get fucked up. <laughs> so yeah, they decided to to get the Rona. I wonder if Baltimore's going to make it. They're saying they're probably not, but I yeah. heard that Lamar is going to practice this week. So if he's if he's healthy, then who knows? If he's not healthy, then mm. they're, they're the eighth seed at the moment. So they, they're on the outside looking in. But they regret getting rid of the goat, Trace McSorley. But they regret it. Fuck kids. They should have should have kept the goat. Trace McSorley. <laughs> That's like the song. We're at number nine. I forgot who he's playing for now. Like, sort of, I think he. I think he's. The, yeah, picked up by somebody. I think, I think the Cardinals. I think he's the backup for the Cardinals. No, that would, that would be cold. The third string for the car. He's he's somewhere out there. You know it's crazy. Oh, yeah. like, I know. So, like, I'm excited to see Sam Allen here this weekend. Yeah, the, how he's officially the backup in the Indy, so we'll see how he does. The T sipper going in. Let's yeah. See what he does. Hey, if he can be as if he can be just as good as Colt, I mean, shit. Yeah, why not? Colt's done fine for the backup. Yeah, he's been a good journeyman. All uh-huh. right, so yeah, the team that I don't think that really needs the panic. Well, let me see here. Uh-huh. The Packers were one bullshit. No call away from actually, I think, losing that game. I think Cleveland was actually about to, to march back. Poor Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland got the hose on that last one. Cleveland has so much potential. Now they're going to be shit again this year. Yeah. Um, I really don't have a team that doesn't need to panic. Um, all the teams that are going to the playoffs like pretty much won yeah, that's what this they... week. I mean, y'all barely beat the Niners, but the Niners, you know. The Niners are a good team. They're, they're a good team. I mean, yeah, we don't have Henry, y'all. We just gotta survive. Yeah, we ain't around shit. I mean, this is the first time we got uh, AJ Brown back since fucking like first week of November. Yeah, did he go off? Eleven catches for like 145 yards. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, good for him. Good yeah, for him. He had a good day. Good for him. Um, yeah, there's no really playoff team. So Chris, I'll just piggyback off what Chris said. So Green Bay doesn't need to panic. Green Bay does not need to panic. But they were they were close to to giving it up on Christmas to. Uh, the brownies. The brownies. All right. So, we haven't done this in a few weeks. Uh, okay. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? We haven't done this in a few weeks. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? I, mean, I keep asking myself. What the fuck happened? What the let's fuck see. happened? Let's see. What the fuck? Mm, let's see here. What the fuck happened to the Chargers? I what? don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Got their ass beat by the Texans. I, uh, Four and eleven Texans. Yeah, they yeah they let Rex, Rex Burkhead run all over them with a chainsaw like, dildo. Was, man, that was crazy. Like, it was yeah, just he had, nuts. Yeah, he had one hundred and fifty yards. Yeah, they're like, if you started Rex Burkhead, I'm like, nobody fucking started Rex Burkhead. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah <laughs> you no. fuckhead. Nobody started Rex Burkhead. You fuckhead. The guy's like a thousand years old now. He's bald. Yeah, he's he's bald. He used to be a beautiful man. Well, Grizzly Adams had a beard. Grizzly Adams does have a beard. If he does have a beard. Yeah, I just do. I do want to say one thing though that I'm really fucking pissed off about in my money league I was in. Oh no! Last week, I'm out. I'm out of the. I'm out of uh, the playoff push. I'm. I'm fighting for third place. Mm-hmm. My opponent started some stupid motherfucker mm-hmm. named <laughs> Baxter Barrios. 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 Yeah, wide receiver for the Jets. Who? Yeah. Exactly. Wide receiver for the Jets. Uh, Chris, can you tell me how many points he scored? I'm going to guess. Without, before the context of this conversation, I would have said eight. After, I'm going to say 18. 65. 65 fucking points. Oh. I don't know. What was the stat line? He had six targets, five receptions for 83 yards. I don't know where he got these points. Did he run the ball? He had to have. Wait, 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 what game is this? This was the Jets and uh, Jags game. I gotta go find this real quick. Yeah, it, the, the the stats here are showing me that I got hosed. What's his the, name? Uh, Baxter Barrios. Baxter McGiggles. Let's yeah, see. Baxter cuck sucking asshole. That's who he is because he just destroyed. How? Did he get, how, what, what, how? I don't, oh, he had one rushing attempt for three, three yards. yards. How did this guy get three sixty? Did he? Oh, he probably did uh, punt returns and stuff. Let's see. I'll, I'll stand by. If he got like a punt return touchdown, mm. was it all punt return? Mm. Is that what killed me? Yeah, hundred. I don't know if you count yards for that or not. I think we do in the league. In that 138 league, hundred and thirty-eight yards altogether mm-hmm. with a touchdown. 
That's what got me. And then, yeah, another another 20 yards with punt return. 65 points. He was projected to get 10. I was going to cruise into the fucking championship. And then Barrios. Nope! Barrios. I was projected to score 130. He was projected to score 100. He scored 231. I only scored 161. Ain't that a bitch? So now I'm now I'm in the third place. Oh, Barrios. And it's and it's one week, one and done in that oh, league. So no. I can't bounce back this week or anything like that. Oh, um, but regardless, sorry. Welcome to my TED talk about the bitch back Baxter to, Barrios. Who the fuck is that guy? If you started him, why? That's why. Let me know him. down below. But anyway, so yeah, what the fuck? So yeah, what the fuck happened? That's my what the fuck happened was, what what happened to me? I was. I was going to sleepwalk into the championship. I was going to collect my $180 and call it good. Fuck no. <laughs> Damn it. That's all right. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. I'm in the championship in our league, though, so that's, that's, that's uh, fine. I told you, I forgot to look at my team last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you got two players that gave me zero points. And I'm like, okay, so it's because Tanner texted me, and he was like, it might it might be you and me in the in the championship, but I don't want to jinx it for you. And I'm like, Chris has two players that have zero points. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I know. And it was like, like <laughs> on the way home, like on Monday, like, hey, I looked at the score all weekend. Yeah. I'm like, huh. Eh, eh. That sucks. <laughs> like, well, I, wish you like, could, I wish you could trade me Derek Henry before the playoffs. That'd be just, bad. <laughs> just drop, I'll just drop him real quick. Just boop, and I'll pick him up. Maybe he'll be there week 18. And then he's going to be Gotham's Reckoning. But... Anyway, so yeah, that was my what the fuck happened. All right, Chris. So, um, real quick. Uh, let's, I mean, not real quick. You can take as many, much time as you'd like, sweetheart. Let's talk about your Titans. How'd they do? How'd they look? Did they look good? Could they look better? Well, that, that, that was the first time in six weeks that uh, Tina Hill had thrown for more than 200 yards. Woo! So that's that's always good. Uh, A.J. Brown was a man possessed. Yeah, he was. He scored, I think he had 35 points in fantasy. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, fantasy pros had him. They had, every week they have a. If you started this roster, you had the perfect roster for the week. And and AJ Brown was like, yeah, the the flex. If you started him at flex, like you were golden. Golden Tate. Golden Tate. I don't know what you're talking about. That's <laughs> Is there holding on that call? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> de- defense was good. Um, we just gotta survive, man. Yeah. And we just all we all we gotta do to win the division is either win a game, whenever win one of our last two. Or have Indy lose one of their last two. Which well, they might. It's probably what happened this weekend since, you know, they, they don't have a team. Yeah, but we'll it's see. They practice squad. But no, like I said, they just got to survive. Yeah, they just gotta, I mean, the fans just got to get to the playoffs, bring back a healthy Derrick Henry, and kill everybody. Man, they should start that Shane Falco guy, even though he's sucked in that sugar bowl. What? No, did ha- people have nothing better to do that day? Apparently not. Anyway. So, but he gets Anywho. to Mac, gets to Mac on the hot cheerleaders. Well, good for Shane Falco. And apparently he's in the Matrix and he stabs people with pencils and so I haven't seen it. I've never seen any of the Matrix movies. Yeah, I saw the first one. Uh, yeah. Everybody was like, "Oh my I, god, this Resurrection one's gonna be the best movie ever!" And then it came out and everybody's like, "We apologize," because they were saying like, "Oh, it's gonna be better than No Way Home." I'm like, "Bitch, please!" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> That's a terrible time to put a movie right now. What? I was gonna say. Uh, what was I gonna say? Have you seen a uh, random topic? Mm-hmm. Have you seen uh, Hawkeye yet? I have not. Have you? No. I heard it's good. My goal is to watch it over the next three days at some point. Because that's the last three days you have off before you have to go back to work? I have four more days. So oh, I have go. what Thursday, Friday, yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There you go. I mean, we'll watch it at some point. I mean, we we, we liked Loki. We liked... Oh, yeah. Loki was fucking fantastic. We liked WandaVision. We, I, we liked Loki a lot better. Loki was better than WandaVision. I liked uh, Captain... Uh, or, that was yeah, the Winter Soldier, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That was okay. I, that one was my favorite until really? Loki came out. Okay, so Loki was Loki was next. Loki level. was fantastic. So how, I wonder how this is going to rank. So watch it and get back with me. Like just just text me a number one through four because those are the uh, oh, the, di- the Disney Plus ones. So oh, it, has, it has my my girl Haley Steinfeld in it. So mm 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 mm-hmm. like and, and, and and Yelena from uh, Yelena or whatever her name is from uh, Black Widow. Oh yeah, and she, then she's um, supposedly in it. and then it's got that hot chick from The Conjuring in it, uh, Vera, whatever. Yes, yeah, she's in it. Um, the list, the list of things that I would do or wouldn't do to those three women is shorter. shorter. What? <laughs> is this on? Damn it! Damn. I'm a happily married man. 
he's a, he's a married spot. I'm a married spot. But anywho, so what all right, the, Chris. What about the cowgirls? Well, the cowboys. Well, uh, my favorite thing was Dan Quinn pretty much told the Jags to fuck off. They did a projection of how much that they would have offered him, and they said six to eight. I just saw that per year. Um, but he's only making four point five. Only he's only making only four point five with a big a def- defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. But he's like, I'm gonna stay here for the foreseeable future because we got something on defense for once. It, the first time I think since the Romo era, we've actually had a, a damn good defense. Plus, why would you want to do? Why would you want to do Yeah, I mean, ex- do you and, then, want to die? and then people are like, Oh my God, is is Kellen Moore gonna take the head coaching job? Is he gonna leave Dallas or Jacksonville? I'm like, first of all, if he does that, that is the stupidest thing I think anybody could do. Because he's, he's an offensive coordinator for the Cowboys. He pretty much has free reign to call whatever plays he wants. Um, he's got Dak and all of his weapons at his disposal. Like, why would you trade that for Trevor Lawrence and a bunch of misfit kids? You know? Money. Well, yeah, but Kellen Moore's not about the money. Apparently, he didn't take that Boise State job because apparently Jerry was like, hey, if this, uh, this thing with uh, what's-his-nuts, McCarthy doesn't work out, then you're going to be the, uh, the new head coach. Well, fair enough. Allegedly. I don't know if that happened or not. But anyway, Cowboys Cowboys put it away in the first quarter last week, in all honesty. Like, I was watching it on my laptop while I was watching also my my wife and, and Jess play a, a game called uh, It Takes Two. Got game of the year, apparently. It's really fun. Hmm. It's a two-player uh, platform. Yeah. Um, so I, I found myself zoning out. I'm like, oh, the game. And I go back. I'm like, oh, we just scored another touchdown. We just scored another touchdown. Jocelyn at one point asked me, how are we doing? I was like, well, it's 28-7 to right now. She's like, oh, well, it was a good game. I'm like, it's not halftime yet. <laughs> so we looked good, and hopefully this is something that we can keep up going into the playoffs. Um, they have us, uh, the hot team, number two, ranked right behind the Packers right now. Uh, some – Projections have us at number five. Some have us at number three. Um, but they're saying, like, the hot meter, like, we're, like, right there behind the Packers because the Packers are kind of lighting shit up, too, right now. So, but anyway, yeah, life is good. Both of our teams are going to make the playoffs. That's true. That's, so, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> knock on wood like you should. Knock on glass. Save that ass. That's that looks like there's going to be more than likely three job openings for coaches. You know, the Raiders, obviously. Oh well, yeah, Raiders. Uh, Bears, more than likely. Yeah, Nagy, yeah. Jags, and they also think Minnesota. Yeah, which is crazy because they were actually talking about that on the Locked On Cowboys podcast today. They're like, if Dan Quinn goes, who is the replacement? And they said either Nagy or Zimmer would be a good replacement for him. Zimmer wouldn't be bad. That's oh, yeah. all, I, all I can do is coach defense. Well, he used to coach for the Cowboys, I think, at one point. Cool. So it'd be like a little welcome home gift. But anyway, so yeah, the Cowboys are looking good. We play the Cardinals this week. I'm actually not worried. No, um, three, like a month ago, we probably would have been. Yeah, a month, if we would have played them in November, I would have been like, oh, yeah. shit. But right yeah, now, it's like, they're, they're I'm, I'm good. Without Hopkins, they don't do a whole lot. I'm good. I'm not losing any sleep over it. All right, Chris. That's so nice. the second. Okay, so the last time I'm going to ask you this in the year 2021. That's true. It's the last one for 2021, and then it melts over into 2022. Okay. And that question is, is it chicken or beef? I'm just kidding. It's who you got? It's always chicken. And then... Good answer, by the way. <laughs> beef. Yeah. Anywho. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let me find my shit show real quick. And, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, I found it. Okay. Yeah. That didn't take long. Uh, <laughs> on so, I think I know no, which one you picked. <laughs> no Thursday night game this week. No, nope, it's all Sunday. You think you know which one I picked, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Well, it's gonna be. It's not that one. Okay. It's one worse. It's a worse one than that one. Yep. If you're if you're picking if, up, it's the same one. If I'm picking up what you're stepping in, you know. All right. Uh, Falcons at Bills. We gotta go with the Bills. The Bills are definitely on a war path right now. Like they just beat. The Patriots in the hoodie, so I mean, oh, the Bills. it's the Falcons. The Bills haven't won more than two games in a row in like two months, though. Yeah. So we'll see if, if they, they want, if they want like a competition, they should just ask the uh, Georgia Bulldogs to play instead. Oh. I said what I said. Give give the Georgia a warm up for their game on. Wait, don't did Georgia play this weekend? Yeah, they can do two games. It's fine. It's it's, it's fine. It's no big deal. <laughs> just subbing the Falcons for Georgia. Let yeah. them go play in the. <sighs> okay. 
Is this what you thought the, the uh, shit show was going to be? This, this next game? Yes, actually. Okay, yeah, no. It, it, it was. What, you had it right. There's, there's one worse. Well, I haven't seen the rest of them. I've just seen the top three games Fair right enough, now. So. Fair enough. Well, we have the, we have the uh, Giants at the Bears. I mean, the Bears. you got to go with the Bears. Go with the Giants. Hey, Dude, they both suck. So they both suck. Ooh, this one's kind of surprising. Chiefs at Bengals. <sighs> I'm gonna go with the Chiefs, but I I'm really, I really. Oh, I need the Bengals to win. Who day? You know, I really, I, I, I'm pulling for them in the AFC. One of the teams I'm pulling in the AFC. I need the Bengals to win because if the Bengals win and then we win, we're back to first, the first seed. So, okay. So, I need them to win. I mean, they need to play spoiler, which they so, no, are known to do this year. So, go Bengals. Yeah. Who day? And then next one, speaking of the Titans, we have the, the team that's won seven in a row, albeit, versus nobody, mm-hmm. which if we, let me, let's, let's just look through their win streak real quick. I don't think, I don't think it's much. I think it's the Jets twice. <laughs> that, I think it's included in it. Oh, God. So, they beat the Saints with the COVID. Whack. Jets. Whack. Giants. Whack. Panthers. Whack. With Cam Newton. Yeah, uh, Jets. Whack. Uh, Texans. Whack. And the Ravens. Which, which whack, was, because... That was, that was their first game of the winning streak. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, yeah. Insert gif here. Whack. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's like, they have a, We're going to see... It, we're, I think we're going to win... If we didn't have A.J. Brown, we would probably... I mean, yeah, if you... We would probably lose. All right, I'm going to go with the, the Titans. I'm going go with the Titans as well. Raiders at Colts. So many people picking the Colts, even though they're not going to have wins. More than likely. Uh, I'm going with the Raiders. I'm gonna, I was actually going to pull for the Raiders, too. I mean, this projection right now I think is bullshit. They have them 88.91% Colts, but the, the nation people, hasn't woken up yet, I don't think. <laughs> they, they haven't looked yet. Yeah. They don't understand that Wentz is not going to be there. Sean Lee playing? Sean Lee playing? <laughs> <laughs> he might if, they, if they're out of players. Does Sean Lee even play? No, he's, he got re- he retired. Did you? He I, don't retired. Know, I don't know what happened to him. He retired. All right, Jags and Patriots. Patriots. Yeah, let's go with the Patriots. They're going to be pissed. Uh, Buccaneers at the Jets. And TB12s. Buccaneers. It's like, I keep reading everything. It's like, is the uh, is the Rodgers-Brady Super Bowl inevitable? Or, or is Roddy, Rodgers-Brady inevitable for the uh, NFC Championship? I'm like, which, I mean, it would be kind of cool to watch, but... Uh, That'd no. be a great game. I mean, yeah, I'm not doubting that. I don't, I don't know who I cheer for there. Uh, Eagles at football team. I'm going to go with the Eagles on I'm this one. The Eagles too. Even though I need, we kind of need them to lose, you know, because I don't want them in the playoffs. <laughs> I want to be the only team in the NFC East to make the playoffs. Well, but that's just me being bitter. Apparently. All right. Uh, Rams at Ravens. Uh, Rams. Rams. Uh, even if Lamar does play, I'm still going to pick the Rams. The Rams are kind of up and down right now. Well, they've all come back up. Yeah, I mean, thank God for Cooper Cup, man. He's freaking Megatron, yeah. Randy Moss, and Torrey Holt all in one. He's pretty good. He's good. That white boy can play. That white boy can play. That dyke can play. <laughs> all right, Broncos, who were up and coming. Now they're not up and coming. Yeah. Versus Chargers. And it's gone. Chargers. <laughs> Chargers. Bolt up. <laughs> all right, we got the uh, Texans at the Niners. Niners. <laughs> <laughs> Texans didn't it's win last week. Taking a lot out of me right now not to pick the Texans. Because again, they're world beaters right now. They're just decided to wake up and just well, beat better, everybody. Well, we, we play them next week, so they better not they better lose this week. Uh I'm gonna pick the Niners. Even yeah. though it'd be funny as hell. It'd be funny as hell. But that just cause chaos. Yeah. Um Cardinals at Cowboys. I'm gonna go with the Cowboys because again, no hop, no what. Yeah. No win. No win. Uh, Panthers at Saints. Uh, go Saints. Go Saints. That's what I'm. Gonna, that's what I say. The Panthers too. officially eliminated from the playoffs as of last week. So. I saw that. I'm like, well, you, you, you kind of mm-hmm. sucks. So. Yeah. Here's our shit show of the week. Oh. Because the earlier game you wanted to you wanted to be the shit show was combined record of nine and twenty one, which is not good. This is a combined record of seven twenty two and one. Yeah, and only one of those teams has. One of those wins. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, the Detroit versus Seattle, right? Um, Detroit. I'm picking Detroit. Fuck it. Seattle shit. Yeah, why not? I don't know why, but Russell... All right, somebody said this on one of the Locked On NFL podcasts today. Is Russ washed up? Is he done? Is he cooked? I don't think he's done. I don't think he has a team around him. Well, I mean, I, I didn't agree with it either. It's like he could easily go to... A, shit, we'll take, him, we'll take him to Tennessee. Yeah, he can go to Tennessee or... 
Uh, what team do they say? Uh, Washington. He go to Washington. I hope he doesn't go to the NFC East. He he has our number. It seems like. So I don't want him in there. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick Detroit too. Why not? All right. Vikings at Packers. It's, the only thing good about the Vikings is Justin Jefferson. That's pretty much it. Uh, and then and then uh, Dalvin Cooks can be back this week. So. Oh. Vikings. Just oh yeah, Vikings. Yeah, just bet. sway you just with one player. <laughs> oh, Delvin Cook. Two words. Delvin Cook. Yeah. Big dick bitch. Yeah, yeah, just that was his dick hitting my freaking ceiling. <laughs> I did the Packers. Packers, yeah. Brickzilla. And yeah. this is the definition of a toss up. Monday night football. Browns at Steel. The, is it the last Monday night football game, I believe it is. I think so because everything else is. I believe it. I think the last week they're all on one day. Mm-hmm. The last because there's no more Thursday night. We have the last Thursday night because they have Black Monday on Monday. Yeah, that's true. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick the brownies. You know, I had to stand up my ass curtain. I don't blame you. There's no, there's is no, your foot still asleep? No, that's you, good. You good? There's okay. Can no right, I get you water? Or, uh, you know. I was at the end of uh, that little dicky song. Dude. Can I get you coffee? Tea? Head? Bottle of water? <laughs> did, did, what type of water do y'all have? Did you say head? <laughs> what type, you say head? type of tea do y'all have? Well, we have Earl Grey, English Bro- You know what? I'll take some head. I need a big ass one some head. <laughs> Uh, I'll take the Browns. All right, there we go. All right, so just to recap. All right, see if we have any different. You, okay. you keep you keep up with it. Uh, Bills, Bears, Chiefs, Titans, Raiders, Patriots, Bro- not Broncos, Buccaneers, Eagles, Rams, Chargers, Niners, Cowboys, Saints, Lions, Packers, Browns. Lions, Packers, Bears. Oh, oh nice. We had two different. Two. You have the Bears over the Giants. I have the Giants over the Bears. Mm-hmm. And you have the Chiefs over the Bengals. And I have the Bengals over the Chiefs. Bears beat Giants. Bears beat Giants, yes. Michael! All right, so I'm going to lock in those picks, guys. Thank you all so much once again for dropping by. We greatly appreciate you all. hope you all had a badass holiday. Um, and this is the last one for 2021, so it's been an interesting year. It's been a hell of a ride. Uh, looking forward to 2022, that's for sure. It's time to get drunk. Um... Some more than others. But anyway, all right, guys. Thank you all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little pickle. It's Colin Porkchop. Loves y'all the most. And make good choices. Especially in the goddamn pick em. You were supposed to say it with me. Pick, pick em. em. That was anticlimactic. Good job. <laughs> so there are you. Bye, guys.